Welcome back to another episode of my ultimate Iron Man. I am here, last video before leagues, and uh, I think, I want to say last video, but heck, it could have been like three videos ago. Pretty sure I said that I was going to do some grotesque guardians, and I ended up not doing that. I got distracted, my looting bag was a little full, but uh, after the last couple videos, the looting bag has a nice bit of space in it, uh, and I am feeling good about these, uh, this boss now. If you see, I've got 152 gargoyles left on my Slayer task, and I'm planning to hopefully do it all at uh, Grotesque Guardians, unless it takes crazy long for some reason. I don't think it should. This is my gear setup. I was debating whether or not to even bring the Varric skirt to not just run the crystal legs. Um, it's a decent bit less defense bonus, but most of the guides I'm watching see to say that a grotesque guardians has a lot of like, you know, avoidable damage. So I figured I'll bring it right now, kind of feel it out once I get used to the boss and hopefully start avoiding some of that damage. Then maybe I'll switch out the legs, put the Varric skirt in the bag and bring an extra prayer pot maybe or food, whatever I need, you know, something. Everything else I think is about the best I can do as far as, you know, like melee switches. Don't want to really bring like a fighter torso, or again, I don't have a fighter torso, but I don't want to bring like an obby plate or anything like that. And again, if I'm like, you know, really struggling for damage, maybe I'll consider bringing some pots. You see, I have ranging pots in my inventory in case I want to use them. I don't, I really hope I don't need them. I don't want to use them. I was considering bringing like a super attack or super strength maybe, um, but they drop super combat potions. So hopefully I'll get those pretty commonly and then I can just use those whenever they come. Again, just kind of wanting as a learner, especially just focus, have as much food as I can and have pretty decent switches along the way. So I'm feeling good. Hopefully this uh, kill won't go too terrible. Well, it is, uh, it's early in the morning, and I was kind of still watching a video again as a guide to try and make sure I knew what I was doing, and I accidentally clicked the bell. So I was like, hey, what the heck, I'll try and go for a kill. And uh, I did it, and I got a whole lot of combat tasks. Uh, Prison Break, Heal No More, and Done Before Dusk. Um, I don't know what the last one is. Maybe that's just for killing them once. That's probably not taking damage in the prison, which is easy. Um, healing them more is probably not letting um, Dusk heal, which I ended up absorbing the balls, but that wasn't... I probably could have out DPS if I was paying attention. And, uh... Yeah. Oh, Granite Dust, our first unlock, too. Wow, well, you get... You normally get, like, four drops? I didn't know that. Also, I would not normally... I probably only actually needed to eat... Um, like one or probably two sharks. The rest were like thinking I would I messed up or like messing up, but then thinking I would have taken a bunch of damage and then just not taking damage. And I eat one when I only did that healed for like four. So, uh, yeah, this boss is definitely going to be something that I can do uh, pretty routinely, I think. And uh, on kill three, we get our very first unique. Um, I don't think any of the uniques from Grotesque Guardians are really great. But the uh, Black Tourmaline Core uh, looks pretty, pretty cool on the ground there. Unfortunately, I don't think it is actually all too uh, great for UIMs. If I'm recalling, it is what you use to make the Bandos Boots into the Guardian Boots. So, uh, not something that I probably will ever do. I know there is a stash unit with the uh, Bandos Boots, but I don't think it works with the Guardian Boots. So... Getting back on later today after work, uh, that was earlier this morning when I was recording those clips, and I didn't really realize at the time how, I, I know that the, the Black Tourmaline Core isn't, you know, super great for us, but it's of course the rarest drop you can get from their, their uniques, you know, not kind of the pet or the jar or anything. Uh, it's like, I think it was like 1 in a 1,000, but you get 2 rolls per kill, so it's like 1 in 500 technically. Uh, and yeah, I guess that's really great for the collection log, because it's the one we'll statistically see the the least between doing these but uh yeah i just it was one of those things right it didn't didn't sit with me until i looked at it later and i was like oh wow that was like a pretty rare drop too bad it's not like an actual useful item and it only took me till kill number eight to get my first perfect grotesque which is just not taking damage from any of their anything other than just you know their normal attacks which you can't really avoid that'd be completely rng to not take damage from that uh, and also, I would just like to say that after you get five kills, you unlock the quick start option for the fight. And oh my gosh, does it make it so much nicer? Because uh, the cutscene one just takes time, but all two also 
you uh, you can't freaking like see. So like you, I have this tile marked in the video. It says if you run here, just an easy tile to get uh, dawn and dusk off tick. So you can uh, prayer flip between the two of them, like I'm doing right now. And uh, it's just so much easier when you don't have to wait for that cutscene because it like forces the camera away from your perspective. So it just makes it very very difficult. I need to shut up so I can focus now here. Well, this was my first, my longest kill trip was six kills. I got a dragon medhelm, so that'll be a nice alk. Uh, and I also just got the perfect grotesque guardians too, which I think was the one to get five perfect grotesque guardians in a row. But let's double check that real quick. Yeah, kill grotesque guardian five times in a row with like will completing the perfect grotesque guardians, which is just not take damage from any of the specials. So uh, I'm learning. I I was chance there though at the end. Um, I only have 14 health left, and they can... I, I pray um, melee on the last phase. I'll do, like, a whole review of the phase once I've got the, the pay, pay, pay of it more. Um, but I pray melee, and you can get hit by 215, so a 30 in total from the range attack at the end. So I was definitely... I probably shouldn't have stayed, but, you know, I wanted a chance that I knew I was close to getting a, uh, a, a task. task. And that kill there is going to be kill number 50 at the Grotesque Guardians, and we get a supply drop. Uh, I was going to log out here and see where we were on the high scores, because I was just watching Mudkip's video, or that was one of the videos I watched when I was looking up this boss. He did it a, like a year or two ago when he was first starting Grotesque Guardians, and I think there were only like 30 UIMs that were on the high scores for Grotesque Guardians at that point. I imagine it's quite a bit more now. But uh, yeah, I'd be really curious to see where we were at. If I had to guess, I'd say two to three hundred. I don't think that's that's that outlandish. Although I guess it is. Like it's not super useful for UIMs. Maybe I'll say two hundred, two to two fifty. I'll narrow it down a bit. That's my guess. And I just got another task: Grotesque Guardian Speed Trialist. Uh, two minutes. I was surprised. I stopped dumping all four of my specs in after, that's what I was doing at first, and that's how I got one of my, my earliest times was 208, one of my first kills, because I just, if you hit your specs on the last phase, it goes down pretty fast. And only eight seconds faster, but I guess it was enough to, because I think the talent is technically under two minutes, but I think with the way ticks work and counting, like even though it is two minutes, it's still counted. So cool stuff. That's probably just about the fastest time we'll ever get, unless, um, I'm say I could get like pots or something. Like I'm only using those whenever I get drops. And I got a, quite a few at the start. I have not gotten any in the last like probably 25, 30 kills. So uh, we have been doing just none boosted stats for these kills. And I was pretty much right on the money with my uh, guess for Grotesque Guardians. We're rank 193 right now at 55. There are, I think it was 213 UIMs who have 50 KC. So uh, just over 200, which is about what I was thinking. And again, makes a lot of sense. Like I said, just like sporadic Slayer boss, you know, with not any, you know, best in slot upgrades or even really upgrades at all. So it's very understandable. Heck, we'll be almost in top 100 just with this half my Slayer task, the rest of it doing it here. So easy ranks. I mentioned in a recent video that I don't feel like I explain enough stuff fully uh, in case you know everyone isn't familiar with the content I'm doing. So I figured I'd go ahead and just try and do a live commentary for a kill here. I think I've got enough hand on it to uh, not whiff super hard when I'm doing this. But basically, now that I have quick start, I ring the bell, run over here, and then just start killing these guys. I mentioned before, this spot is just an easy spot to run to so that by the time Dusk walks over to you, his attack is not on the same tick as Dawn, so it's pretty easy to flick between them. I messed up at the start there because I was talking, but you just do this until Dawn gets to under 250 health. Then uh, you can start meleeing Dusk, and as long as you don't take too long, you can get three hits off on him, and then once he starts glowing like that, you wanna walk away. And that was a lucky one, because there weren't any of these boulders that fell in my path, so I could just run right back and start attacking him. Sometimes I will have to uh, wait a bit, because I'll have to dodge a boulder, like I had to right there. Because those hit you in a 3x3 three three radius, starting in the center of it, so they'll hit you for like 10-15 damage, and they stun you too, which is the annoying part. Normally I'd flick right here, but I, I was talking. This is a little bit of a couple seconds where you uh, don't take any damage, you just gotta make sure you're not standing on top of those things. It's a good chance to eat or pot up if you need to. Then I go on to pray melee, start attacking Dawn. Uh, I try getting melee distance out of her because she can melee, 
this is the period that you used to be able to um, out DPS, or I mean, some people do out DPS if you have good enough gear. Uh, I do not right now. If I had a ranging potion, I think I could, but uh, I don't. This is one of the few cases, maybe even the only case where I think having the blowpipe still would have been better because then you can just sit there and attack so quick. And if you have prayer up, you'll just out DPS her. But for me, it's just the bow is slower, even though it hits bigger. And you just have to get really, really lucky. It's not worth it. I think she gets healed 90 each for every one of those three uh, orbs she and sends out that you don't absorb is 90 health. So not super great to uh, let her have that happen. And then for this, turn my prayers off while I dodge this and then turn on Protect from Melee, and then Piety, and I had my da Dragon Dagger on, and I started specking three times at the start of a kill, because that usually means I'll have enough spec for three more specs afterwards, and then maybe two for the after one. But it's it just, I like it better than dumping all four specs. If I dump all four, then like eventually I get a kill where I can only spec like once maybe, or twice, which doesn't, uh, doesn't have the exact same effect that I'd like. And then right here, I pray melee, but I also try and flick uh, just to save some prayer in the end. And then, yeah, that was, uh, I took a little damage, more damage than I need to. I've had kills where I don't have to use any food because you just get lucky with hits sometimes. But uh, that's pretty much how it's going. And then if you'll notice, I did finally get rid of the Varric Skirt. I would switch it on for the last phase because you take unavoidable damage there. Once he gets to the final phase, they can use melee and range. And you can't predict which one it's going to be, so you just kind of got to choose one to camp. Uh, and I usually choose melee just because uh, melee hits harder, but range hits twice. It maxes at 15 inch for 30 damage. I've said that like four times now. Um, and that, but they each do, if they do get hit by that, then my recoil will do two damage to them for each hit. So it's like, you know, a better chance for more recoil oil damage, and it's easier to maintain, you know, chance for less damage. Uh, but man, it does, I know it's random for how many times, the, which attack they use, but it really does feel sometimes like you get like eight range attacks in a row and then one melee. So it's like, should I be praying range? But I'm pretty sure it's just, it's 50-50 each and you just gotta choose one and stick with it, whatever your personal preference is. And, uh, that's how Grotesque Guardians go for me. I've actually been really, really enjoying it so far. It's a really, really fun boss. It's really great for UIM. Once I finish this kill up, I'll show, or this trip, I'll show my kind of you know what i do in between waves but for i'm able to get five to six kills consistently now per trip it's really really great something else i wanted to mention that helped me out a lot when i was learning is that when you get teleported here from this phase rather than just clicking outside i like to click right where the little exit is in the wall because if you click outside normally then uh, you'll just auto path out like it's really really easy uh, but there's a couple instances where you'll get teleported and like the hole will be on the wall so you can't teleport out and uh, if you auto click out if you try to auto click out it just won't pack you to the exit and you'll take damage so it's better to just i find it helpful to me at least to train my brain to just always click on the one little safe spot on the wall so that way uh it just my brain automatically goes over and it's at a wall and I wouldn't be safe rather than just taking the easy way out every single time. But hey, that's just me. Maybe it'll work for you. Just a little advice from, you know, 60kc Grotesque Guardian Master over here. All right, this has been a perfect example for me of how it's been going for my Grotesque Guardians after I finish a trip. Uh, so I just got my last kill. It was a little close one. And you see I got a crystal key. That has been the most interesting thing for me. Because normally what I'll do is I'll teleport home. I got some Onyx Bolt tips. There's very few like legitimate alcables here. Like our stacks of alcables. Most of it are just, you know, like Rune Fool Helm or something like that. Like these pickaxes that I sometimes, are, if I'm fighting for space, I'll just alk them as soon as I get them. Uh, but I alk these. I teleport to Ferox Enclave and I add my bars and stuff I'm keeping the looting back, which is mostly just bars and like gold ore. And I've got, I got a sack of coal already too. Uh, and then I go over here to drink up at the pool of refreshment because the pool I have in my house doesn't actually restore my health. So this is the best way to get up back to that. And then I will come back home and uh, since I've got these runate bars, I stopped doing this. I had been uh, like actually getting a Dwarven Sound of Faldor and boosting to uh, craft those into rune daggers just for a little extra money and a little bit of spending XP, but I thought it wasn't worth it. They're still pretty good Alks on their own. So I'll just elk them. I will, however, come to the general store here because I want to sell these diamond bolt tips. I get a little bit of cash for them, a couple K for that. And then this crystal key, 
Again, I think most UIMs would probably just go open the chest in Taverly, get the Dragonstone, and Alk it. You know, it's a good, it's almost like 10k, I think, for a Dragonstone, something around there. For me, I, uh, of course, as you know, love to open the uh, Elven Crystal Chest. So I go and get some Crystal Shards at the Gauntlet, just do a normal, regular Gauntlet, till I can get uh, 10 Crystal Shards, which is usually just two runs. No, geez, always two runs, pretty much, I think, unless you get really unlucky. And uh, then I go and uh, craft that into a key at the singing bowl down here and open the chest and then go about on my merry way. Just head to the uh, Mythic Guild or Myth, is it Mythic Guild or is it just the Myth Guild? I don't know. Head to that guild, you know what I'm talking about. And then just cook my sharks, get my prep pots, and then bang, run up the Canifus and rinse, repeat until the Slayer task is over. So, ooh, big F to this guy. Uh, but yeah. Just do a little gauntlet. Again, not the most efficient. Probably shouldn't be doing gauntlet, but that's just me. You know, I like to do it. I'm uh, like uh, top 50 right now for normal gauntlet KC because, you know, nobody does it. So I'd like to get front page at some point. I've mentioned that before. Uh, but yeah, just the, the life of this UIM. Hey! Always love to see a little reward from the gauntlet. little treat. Got a crystal armor seed. So I guess if I ever want to have full crystal again... Uh, there's my crystal helmet. Dang, maybe I should maybe I should hold on to that in case I want to go back to Zolra or something after after leagues. I do have an open spot in the looting bag, and I also got an elite clue and casket now from that last gauntlet trip. Let's see what we get. Gross. Is that a magic seed though? I guess I'll take it. And I've been fishing for minnows in my AFK slash downtime, which I think is going to be what I do for most of my afk free time uh, in the near future because we need sharks always i have pvm is like the the main theme of what i want to do after leagues and you need food for that of course uh and also even during leagues i don't again we'll have to see how the league is my my plan right now my goal for the league is not to max not to try and go for crazy points of course i would like to get enough points to Get the cool things i want from the shop but i already have a bulk of points from the last ones because i never like super love any of the re previous rewards or like i got the ones you needed. you got so many points in trailblazer anyway so it didn't matter uh, my plan for the league is to learn content that would be super super hard to learn on a uam to see if i can do it on a uam and to make it easier to do on my uam going straight into it so I, in other words i plan to be very active i don't plan to do too much you know like oh it's time to you know afk karam wands for you know five hours especially with like relics and helping you do things faster i'm hoping i'll be able to do that play as much as I want to, get to the content I need to do, and then maybe in my AFK time that I had during the league, I can just come and do this, you know, get more sharks or something. So uh, I plan to get this stack very, very high uh, coming up here. But for now, let's go turn in all these minnows I have. Let me get one more. I think I'm about to get another shark, yeah. How many do we have? I was tempted to stay till I got 100K for the white stack, but uh, I'll take, oh my gosh, almost 1,500 sharks. Yeah, let's... Uh, Let's turn those in. And I also got two easy clues. Did we get anything from that? A Bob the Cat shirt, which I already had, and then garbage. First elite clue from Grotesque Guardians, and we got the casket. Let's see what we're gonna get. Uh, pretty normal. Good Alk, though, actually. I think, as far as elites go, I don't think I can complain about that. That's pretty good. Okay, we got our second unique at KC number 99. Those are the granite gloves. Which I don't even know, what are the, are the granite gloves? What are they? And I was just gonna wait until I got 100 kills, but uh, I whiffed hard. Well, not whiffed, I just, it, it's, I tried to be too good, you know, it's like tick manipulation, and uh, I, I suck, is the long short, the long and short of it. Uh, but the granite gloves are like Addy gloves, they have a little bit more defense and more crush attack, I think. Uh, so they suck, is what they, the, the, uh, the long and short is. I don't know why such a high level slayer ball. I guess it's not super high, but what do you need? Like 70 slayer to kill gargoyles or something? Like, you know, they have such like dog shit rewards, but hey, that's just reads cape for you, I guess. And only got four more kills left on the task, but I just got the From Dust combat achievement, which is to get 10 kills in one trip. And if I had even just one more sip of prayer pot, I could go for 11 right now. And I got this food drop, but alas, I cannot. One more trip, and then we will be all done with this task. 
And that's it. The very last Grotesque Guardian kill. Ending us off at 152 KC and good lord, 209,000 Slayer XP from that task. Granted, we were on it for a good couple weeks, just doing normal gargoyles and then 150 uh, Grotesque Guardians. Uh, I loved this boss. I had a really, really great time with it. I'll go ahead and put up the loot right now, or at least, like, I'll filter it out so it's only the relevant loot from Runelight. You know, what we kept or what I alked or something. But it was, uh, okay, you know, decent alks. Of course, I would love to get any of the uniques, the jar, or the, uh, the pet. We got the Black Tourmaline Core, I think on, like, kill number two or three. It was really early, uh, which I think is that generally, like, you know, for non-irons, that would be the best account, or maybe even, like, just non-new items, that would be the best drop you could get unless you're a pet hunter uh for me not too useful uh i don't actually it was not, not, not useful at all maybe if i had bandos boots like maybe i'd consider keeping at least for a little bit but no it's just it is not a good drop and then we got the granite gloves somewhat recently that was not super super important and then a decent amount of smithing supplies i'm looking at them right now Ooh, that's that's a lot eh, again smithing always seems like more than it is but uh, that is not terrible. And I forgot we got that crystal armor seed and I was just doing gauntlet in the meantime. Uh, but yeah, very, very good boss. I will be doing this definitely for sure in gargoyle tasks going forward. I just don't know, like if my extended, like that was a 236, you know, gargoyles was assigned to me when I got that task. And that's, that's a lot to do for uh, a normal grotesque guardian, especially like I got, you know, lucky where I had you know, two days off this week where I could pretty much just, just do this. This is the second one of them. And even then, it's like half my day is gone now, and I've only done Grotesque Guardians. So I don't know if I want to commit that much time to this kind of stuff going forward, especially for videos. But hey, we'll, we'll see. Oh, and it looks like this is just going to be the Slayer Boss episode. I will absolutely take 175 just chill, reclined Kraken kills. Ugh. I was just thinking I'm gonna have to probably refill my trident after this trip, and it looks like I won't have to. And it's just about that time again. I was editing this video while I was doing the most majority of this task, and uh, well, this was a lot longer than I thought it was for having only done Grotesque Guardians. Uh, I blabbered on thinking that I would need uh, more content, and I ended up making a really long video. But hey, it'll be like a little, little treat if people actually watch it for my, my last video, probably for like a month or two. But yeah, this is going to be my last video before Leagues. League starts tomorrow, actually. I'm probably planning on playing in the afternoon. I have Thursday off work, so that'll be my first day to really kind of go hard in Leagues. Uh, I'm really, really excited for Leagues. The last time, it's been just over a year since I started this channel. Um, my first video was, it's one year university was, a couple weeks ago? Um, maybe in a couple days ago and it was it's very funny to, for me to think how much of a different spot I'm in now than I was then I was feeling pretty burnt on my UIM before league started and then after leagues I was feeling very very motivated to uh, play more UIM and right now I'm really enjoying where my UIM is at and I'm even more excited for what could be coming on the horizon after I learned some stuff in leagues and uh, I think I think it'll be a whole whole lot of fun so Thank you all so much for watching. Whether you've been watching for one day or since my very first video, I sincerely appreciate anyone who takes their time to uh, watch my videos. And I hope you will uh, stick with this little hiatus for me to come back even stronger for some fun UIM shenanigans. So see you all in the next one. Have a good one. And I hope you all uh, have fun playing leagues if you choose to do so.